Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. Y'all already know blueberry muffins is my favorite. Muffins for breakfast or whatever. But one of my favorite stores I never talk about and my uh, uh, crew and some of my friends say, why don't you talk more about Trader Zone? I always talk about H-E-B. I love H-E-B. But this is my store. When I'm going on a treasure hunt, I go to Trader, Trader Joe's. If y'all don't have a Trader Joe's in your area, if you do, you never been in it, go in this store. I promise you, I go in this store for one thing. The best thing they have in this store for me is their orange chicken and then the fried rice. That stuff is amazing. I'm going to do a video on it one day. If y'all want to see Trader Joe's, I want to do about two videos a month on my Trader Joe's find and show y'all how good they have some awesome products, good quality stuff that you don't see anywhere else in any other store. Look, I'm not getting paid by Trader Joe's. I'm just telling you what I know, especially being a shelf. It's stuff in there. I'm telling you a lot of frozen stuff and, and box stuff. This is absolutely amazing. So with that being said, I was in there the other day and look what I found. Trader Joe's blueberry muffin mix. Y'all know I got to try this. You know, I did the Krusty's blueberry muffins, which is amazing. But this one is a different level, I'm going to think here. I never tried it. Because it has butter in it, eggs, and milk. You know, uh, the Krusties, you just add water and oil. But anytime you add melted butter to something, and some milk and eggs, huh, I'm thinking it's going to be good. You can look at it on the, you know, I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on the top. But look at that, y'all. Look at the box. So what it is, I'm going to step off here because I see on the directions... Let me get this uh, first uh, part going, because I'm going to have to come back. You got your mix in here, but you got your blueberry, which is different from uh, from the uh, crusties, because the blueberry is already in the can. These are dried already, so what I need to do, I need to uh, rehydrate them, because they're dried. So in, according to the directions, do this here, pour them in a bowl here. And I'm gonna rehydrate them with some water. I gotta let it sit for 10 minutes. Then I drain the water. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna drain the water. The last time I messed up the crusties, I didn't drain the water, which they still come out good, but I'm gonna do them right according to the direction. Oh, this God, these smell good, y'all. Okay. Now let me see how much water she add to this. I guess it doesn't matter since I'm pouring the water off, right? Y'all know I struggle with this box stuff. Okay, it's a uh, pour dried blueberry in a bun and cover with water. So it just say covered with water. So I'm gonna get some cold water here. Okay, I cover it with water. Okay, it says let it set 10 minutes and drain. So I'm gonna let it set 10 minutes here. And I'm gonna put my butter in the microwave while I step out because the butter gotta be melted. And all according to directions, Hold on, y'all. Let me look at the directions again. According to the directions on the box, it say uh, mix the eggs, butter, milk, and then you add the batter. That's what I normally do. Huh, they already got it good anyway. I always like to get my wet all mixed together and add my dry. So, yeah, that's the way it got on the box. Then you fold in the blueberries. So, gently fold in the blueberries. Okay. Sounds good to me. So... We're gonna step off here, let these blueberries do their thing. And like I told y'all, if you don't have, if you got a Trader Village in your area, go check them out. They got so much stuff. And like I said, if you want me to do a video a couple times a month on Trader Joe items that I found in there, I'm telling y'all, they, uh, orange chicken in the frozen section is, is, is totally, nothing can touch it. And they fried rice, nothing can touch it. It's amazing. So uh, anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off here. Let these berries drain for like 10 minutes. Come back. We're going to put this thing together. Old cool soul food. What are we going to call this section? Trader Joe's uh, Review. I'll come up with a Crella name. You know, I always do. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, let me drain my, uh, you know, I soaked what I left here. Y'all know I soaked the uh, uh, blueberry for 10 minutes. Say drain it completely. Like I told y'all, I'm going to go directly by the recipe this time. You know, when I did my crusties, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. And I didn't drain the 
Blueberry, even though it came out all right, but I want to do the first time the right way. Then if I got a next time kind of sway away, I will. Okay. Now, in according to directions, take your bowl, put your butter in there, melted butter, my eggs, my milk. Mix all this together. I try to do that anyway, even if it didn't say it. I like to mix all my wet together and add my dry. So it's sounding good already. Get it all mixed up. All right. All right, now we're going to put our dry in here. we got all the sugar and all that stuff in it. Okay. Mix this all up together. And carefully. Alrighty. Looking good, looking good here, y'all. Get that all mixed up really good. I know I don't want to over mix it. I definitely don't want to do that, but definitely don't want it lumpy either. Okay, now, <clears throat> scrape this off here, then we're going to fold in our, we're going to fold in our blueberries, let me get this all mixed up really good, y'all, all right, now, fold in our blueberries, they say, get them all in there, We're gonna see if this gonna be the real deal. It's gonna be better than crust seed. I'm telling you, it's very little few things I've gotten from from Traders Joe's. That's bad. They make good products. I'm telling you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, we're gonna put in our pan muffin tins here. Y'all know how I do this little game here. If I can get them all in there right same way and you know I always have a uh, different sizes don't judge me out there y'all y'all don't judge me You're supposed to make 12 Ooh, that's gonna be a big one You're supposed to be make 12 muffins I make more than 12 it say 12 so we'll see Well, got a little left. I'm going to make it fat ones here. This one here needs some more in it. See, they give you a lot of batter. I already see right now, you know, crusty, you better have enough to fill them all. Okay. Now, y'all know I like to put a little sugar on top of mine. I'm definitely not going to sway away from that. I like to put a little sugar on top of my my muffins here, just put a lid on there and kind of give it that little glossy look. Turn it this way. I hear some thunder outside, y'all. Getting some rain. We're loving this rain we're getting the last few days here in Texas. We've been needing it all summer. Okay, now it say on here 400 degrees, 22 minutes. I'm actually going to do 40, 400 degrees for 22 minutes. Of course, I'm going to check it out for maybe 15 or 20. Y'all know I don't like cooking at 400 degrees, but like I said, the first time, I'm going to do it exactly like they got on the recipe and see what happens. So we will be right back, y'all, in 22 minutes. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Fresh out of the oven. Look at this, y'all. Oh, wow. All I can say, they make a bigger muffin then the crusties, I already see that right now. The muffins are so much bigger. They give you more batter inside. I can tell that right off the bat. But the real test is when I open it up, put some butter in there on that hot muffin. That's the real test, right? So I'm gonna let them sit here about maybe six minutes and I'm gonna take them out of the pan, put them on my little plate there. Do my world famous YouTube thumbnail. And we're gonna come back and uh, See how they compete with crusties. Uh, see if they look like they do on the box. See the box there? 
I'm gonna see if they taste like they look on the box. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back, back, back. Okay. All right, here's the real test, y'all. Let me get me a nice one here. Move my towel out the way. I'll pick this one since it's at the front. I hope it ain't too hot where I can't. Sometimes when it's too hot, I can't peel the paper off of it. Come on, paper. Come on. Come on, fair. You gonna come off? Oh, I got two on there. Well, that's why it ain't coming off. I got two on there. There we go. Got two on that one. Okay. Y'all know we're gonna do the hot. We're gonna do the hotness test here. Let's see here, y'all. Open it up. Oh, yeah. See that steam coming out of there? Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm being a little apprehensive here, y'all. I don't know. We're gonna see here. I gotta put some butter in there. Put some butter on the other one. First, I'm gonna taste it without the butter. Get the true taste. Look at that. Look a little moist. Let's check it out here. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Honest opinion, it's not as moist as the crusties. Now, they're good, but the moistness. It's not up to standards. Let's try it with the butter here. Let's try it with the butter. Mm. They are good. Very good. But compared to Krusty's, Krusty still be kicking them. Kicking them in the behind. It's not even really close. If I had the choice, crusties and these, I'm going to crusty. And what's amazing is, like I say, I thought they would be extra good because of the butter in there and the eggs and the milk. But no, crusties, what is it? Just oil and water and eggs? But yeah, now this, this is a good product. I'm not gonna dog them because I love me some Trader Joe's, y'all. Y'all already know that. But I haven't said it enough. But my opinion, if you're gonna do box blueberry muffin, go to Krusty. Of course, nothing beats homemade. I'm gonna do a homemade blueberry muffin. If I haven't always done one, it has been years ago, but. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna keep doing these Trader Joe's videos, kind of comparing them to other stuff, and see how it is. But I know one thing that I will definitely tell y'all to try, if you haven't tried Joe, try the orange chicken, it's frozen. Orange chicken, you can take it, throw it out, put you in the wok, saute it off, hit it with that orange uh, sauce come with it, and serve it with some of that frozen rice they have, frozen fried rice, chicken, they got chicken fried rice, oh my God. It is to die, and you get a lot of it. You can feed like six, seven people out of it. If you get the fried rice and the orange chicken and make them separate and serve it, I'm telling you, you see seven people with that. So anyway, y'all, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, <clears throat> and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.